Nothing says Super Bowl like going to town on your favorite football foods. I, I feel guilty almost reading this story because I'm kind of really looking forward to the bad food Sunday. But cardiologists are advising fans to eat healthier during the big game this year. KJ5 Shelby Nelson is live in Loma Linda with everything that you need to know to keep yourself safe this Sunday. Shelby. MB share, let's face it, we're not really thinking about how to be heart healthy when Super Bowl rolls around. We're more so, more so thinking about which foods we're going to eat and which team is going to win, but it all makes sense, right? You've got the nerves, the nail biting, the fatty and greasy foods we're going to be eating, and all that combined is a not so great recipe for your heart health. Friends, food, and most importantly, football. It's on the minds of most Americans this time of year who are anticipating the ultimate showdown, Super Bowl. But what isn't necessarily top of mind? Especially for the people cheering for the losing team, there was an increase in the risk for heart attack of about 10 to 20 percent compared to normally. Dr. Jason Hoff is a cardiologist at Loma Linda University Medical Center, and he's seen it firsthand a spike in patients suffering from heart failure and heart attacks during the holidays, including the big game. Dr. Hoff says that's because more people are indulging, eating fatty and salty foods, not to mention stress levels are at an all time high. Once you become a cardiac kid and you realize you're two or three missed beats away from eternity, you begin to prioritize what you're going to allow yourself to be stressful over. A um, Super Bowl game isn't one. Inland Empire resident Tom Hunt has mastered managing his stress. After all, if he didn't, he might not be here for his wife and two daughters. Hunt says after a stress test 20 years ago, he made the decision to turn his life around. A nurse walked out in the waiting room and said, dead man walking. He's 98% clogged. And uh, so I had my first of three stents and I'll have 11 stents in my heart. So what can you do to make sure being a diehard fan isn't quite taken literally? Dr. Hoff separates his recommendations into pregame, half game and post game categories. Set yourself up for success by having healthy options, healthy options, including maybe you know, vegetables, cauliflower, buffalo wings over normal buffalo wings, these kind of things. Uh, and then also to prepare yourself mentally for both options. Halftime recommendations include drinking enough water, enjoy family, enjoy friends. Let that really be the focus of this weekend and that should really uh, help the heart. And Dr. Hoff says that heart disease can develop over time, but it could really push someone over the edge uh, if you are, you know, watching the big game and your nerves are up. So, of course, those are things that you do want to listen to, especially if you are at high risk, if you've got diabetes, high cholesterol, if you're a smoker and something else, he says and advises for people, you know, if your team does lose, whether it's the Chiefs or the Eagles, you can channel all that negative energy and go for a run. Share MB. Really good advice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shelby. Appreciate